Hello, I'm Chris. Maya has a driving test booked for in just over a month's time and wants to do a mock driving test to see how ready she really is. To help you learn and hopefully pass your test, any thoughts made will be displayed on the screen as they happen. You'll also be able to see the speed she's driving, which gear she's in, and I'll be giving you some tips along the way. I've never met Maya before, so let's go and meet her. Well, thanks a lot for coming today. That's all right. <laughs> Thank so, you for having me. So how many hours of lessons have you had? Um, I've had, um, as of now, 40 hours uh, with my instructor and um, about roughly seven hours of private practice. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and how's it all been going? It's been going good. It's, it's definitely been going good. I mean, I struggled at first. Um, I was definitely, I was stalling all the time and mm -hmm. struggling, just struggling, struggling, struggling. And um, eventually, um, well, now my uh, instructor thinks I'm not, well, she thinks I'm test ready. And so I thought, what better time? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. good. And do you feel like you can drive safely, independently? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, I thought we'd just have a little warm up drive. Yeah, perfect. You've never driven this car before, have you? No. And do you know this area? I've never been to Beckenham, no. I'm definitely not familiar with this area or this car. So, in fact, actually, I do have a full Fiesta of my own, but uh, it's a 2007 one. <laughs> so, oh, all right, so, yeah. so, so it's definitely going to be a different. It's, yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> Little differences, yeah. yeah. Tell me, <laughs> how do you know if you have a problem with the ABS? Um, so when you um, turn on the engine, there should be a um, orange warning light on the dashboard after you start the engine, mm -hmm. um, showing that there's a problem. Yeah. Okay, thanks. I'd like you to follow a series of directions given by the sat nav now, please. Sure. Drive on when you're ready. Maya answered the tell me question correctly. A show me question will be asked later. To avoid possibly confusing other road users, it's best to signal only when it's safe to go. And you're going to go. Maya's taken a good opportunity to go, but didn't check the blind spot. This is a driving fault. She's also stopped when she could have gone. Come on. Although she's not blocking the road, she is a slight obstruction. The driver behind has flashed their lights and let her out. That wasn't an ideal situation. Normally, to avoid getting in the way or confusing other road users, you'd wait for it to be safe and clear signal if necessary, and then move off. It's especially important when driving slowly to check your mirrors before moving back to the left, for any cyclists that can easily pass you. This is a driving fault. Maya had time to move up to the next space, but I'm glad she didn't hang around too long. Good mirror checks. After 300 yards, turn left, then bear left. I'm pleased that she didn't stop unnecessarily as there is enough space to get through and good mirror checks.
This model of sat-nav is the same as they use on a driving test. When it says bear left, it sometimes means take the next road on the left. But sometimes, it's not a road on the left, and it's a bend in the road. After 100 yards, bear left. Bear left. If you're unsure where you're going, then have a glance at the sat-nav screen. Or just ask the examiner. You won't get any faults for asking. checks the mirrors before signalling, which is perfect. Turn left. It's good to see Maya check in both ways before emerging out. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. for a moment okay. and I'd like to take the next road on the left it's before that black and white arrow sign into a car park sure it's a very tight turn I'd recommend going very very slowly it's very tight and just follow it round to the left please sure Forward bay parking exercise. I'd like you to drive into a bay on the left or right. After 200 sure. yards, go around the roundabout and take the third exit. There is no Although Maya checked the interior mirror before turning, she should have also checked the right hand mirror and have a quick shoulder check just in case anyone's going past. This is a driving fault. Although you're allowed to open your door to check you're in the bay, I definitely recommend first applying the parking brake and selecting neutral to make the car safe and secure. I had to open the door to check this one, but unfortunately Maya had driven too far forward into the bay in front, resulting in a serious fault. This is a driving test foul. When it's safe, I'd like to reverse out round to the left, please. Really good observations, although a left signal isn't necessary. And we drive forward towards the exit, please, where we came in. Sure. Follow directions from the sat nav again now, please. Sure. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Good mirror checks. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, then turn right. To 
follow the road ahead at this roundabout. Maya will need to keep in her left hand lane. good opportunity and she kept in the correct position. After 200 yards, turn right. Maya's positioned really well for this right turn and a great opportunity to go. But it seems like the bus has surprised her and now she's blocking the road. Unfortunately, this would be a serious fault on your driving test. Never cause another driver to slow down, stop or swerve. Good mirror checks. Pull up on the left in a safe place, please. They go behind that dumb car. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, this very perfect opportunity. Plan where you want to park and when to signal if you need to, as you don't want to potentially confuse other road users. Drive on when you're ready, please. Sure. Time for a hill start. Whoops. Myers forgot to select first gear, resulting in a rollback and a driving fault. Maya proved that she can really do a hill start, but forgot to check the blind spot before moving off. Good mirror checks. Turn left. It's good to see Maya observing properly both ways before emerging out. Although first gear would have been best, it's not quite worth a fault this time. Pull up on the left in a safe place, please. Sure. On the driving test, you can expect the examiner to ask you to pull up on the left a few times to see how you park and move off again. Myers parked well. Drive on when you're ready. Maya's moving off in second gear. 
Luckily it didn't stall, but it's still a driving fault. She's changed gear, but is now holding the clutch down unnecessarily, which is making the car coast, or freewheel. Good mirror checks. Could have kept it in second gear though because of the speed she's driving. I had done the right thing waiting. Good gear choice and mirror checks. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Maya's chosen first gear and is holding down the clutch. This is coasting. There's no engine braking, so you have less control. It's good to see Maya making progress on this road and getting up to the speed limit when it's safe to do so. A good opportunity to go as the car on the left is going to block the one on the right and the vehicle on the right is turning left towards where we've come from and isn't going to affect us. You should have indicated. <laughs> Bear in mind that there isn't always time to signal before exiting a mini roundabout and don't signal if it could confuse others. Good judgement. Make sure that you keep planning ahead. Look out for any signs, markings, traffic lights. After 100 yards, turn left. Maya's turning left and has priority. Turn left. It's green. I've seen this happen before where the learner stops when they should be going and the driver behind crashes into the back of them as they weren't expecting to stop. This is a serious fault. After 300 yards, go straight on, then you have reached your destination. Oh well. 
says you've reached your destination. It means the independent driving is finished and okay. I'll direct you from there. Turn left, please. Sure. First exit. Good mirror checks. A good opportunity. As long as it's safe and you're in control, then don't be afraid to accelerate. You're more likely to get in the way of another road user if you move onto the roundabout slowly. But make sure it's definitely safe before you go. Maya has a good road position, ready for oncoming vehicles. Follow the road ahead, please. Second exit. I'm glad that Maya waited until she had a better view of the roundabout. She also kept in the correct position. Good mirror checks. Don't forget to check your mirrors before you move back to the left. Take the next road on the left, please. Sure. Maya forgot to check the mirrors before signaling and is now holding down the clutch unnecessarily which is coasting. Good mirror checks. good gear choice for this bend on a hill. Pull up on the left. 
left in a safe place, please. You can ignore the driveways for now. Okay, you can switch off now. That's the end of the test. <laughs> Unfortunately, Maya wasn't successful today. We're the chat after, and here are the highlights. How do you feel you done? I think I did quite well, actually. I'm surprised that I didn't stall, um, because uh, a lot of the time I have, pretty much nearly every time I have stalled because of forgetting to um, leave it in, or well, forget mm. forgetting to put it back in first, but um, today I think I was just a bit more focused. There was a situation with a bus. Oh yeah. Um, I think I was, I was about to go then I saw um, that he was about to um, turn in. I mean luckily he managed to get in, well get through. Because um, he let you go in the end didn't he? Do you he remember? did, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I probably should have. Um, looked a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you really did have a good chance to go. Unfortunately, she stopped in front of the bus. He had no choice but to stop for you. Oh. We had a green traffic light earlier. Do you remember he was turning left? Turn left. And I said to you, it's green. Oh, yeah. I, I knew it was green, but then I somehow forgot. And then somehow my instincts thought that the there'll be cars coming from the left or right. Yeah. So I, I mean, I don't know how. I think I'm just used to, um, like, stopping and letting people come past. So I think I, at that point, I probably forgot it was green. <laughs> There's a little bit of coasting here and there where you hold down the clutch when you're turning. Yeah, I seem to have some weird habit of doing that. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> so just make sure you're off the clutch before you turn. Yeah. Just to avoid that. Are you pleased you took the mock test? Yeah, I'm pleased I didn't. I, I'm, I mean, even though I obviously would have failed that, yeah. um, it's definitely good experience, and um, I can I can um, know in the future. Well, I can learn from that. I can um, have more lessons, have more private practice, and yeah. just uh, just do it. <laughs> we continued to chat about what went right and what she can improve on. A big thank you to Maya for taking part in this video. And thanks to you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, then please do. And press the like button if the video helped you in any small way. Don't forget to have a look for our channel for more free videos. Good luck with your driving test if you have one coming up soon. Let us know how you got on in the comments below. And bye for now.